Why, hello everyone. Welcome to my very first video on this channel. And in this video, I will be reviewing the Paniter Avatar. Um, this is the new 2019 version. Um, I'm aware there is an older model, but there is a new feature of this model, which I will be discussing in a second. So what you see before you is the packaging for this avatar. This is my very first Paniter um, product, so I'm not familiar with their normal packaging, but this looks pretty premium. It has this embossed Paniter logo here, and of course, branding right there. Um, the box is an interesting shape, I noticed, because when I flip it over, you can see that it is not flat on the bottom, which makes for an interesting display when I have it sitting there like that, but that's okay. It is like a dark forest green color. Feels really nice to the touch, and it is paper. So when you open it, you will see that there are two little booklets here. Um, the first one just shows you, it's like a little tutorial or guide on how to operate their pens. I have the fountain pen, of course. There's just little pictures. Oh, actually, it's not a booklet. It's like a pamphlet. There's a QR code. All of these things. Quite nice. And the other one is a little booklet telling you about their feature, which is the ultra resin. And, um, well, this is the English side. It has all this information in here that I will discuss in this video. And then right after that is the pen, pretty simple. And it says this, I do not speak Italian. And the little logo down here, and there's like faint lettering around the box. And the pen is in this nice padded, um, kind of squishy material here. And here is the pen. This is the Paniter Avatar. I have the color abalone green, which is quite beautiful. Um, now, I am filming under uh, artificial light, but I will insert a clip here, um, rotating it and showing off its true beauty. So yes, this is abalone green. Um, it's I would say it's more of a turquoise or teal. Um, there are hints of green, as you can see here. Um, and there's white streaks, blue, dark blue. Um, very beautiful. And it, as you saw in my clip, it um, has more depth to it than it looks right now. And um, let's just go through the features. So starting off with the clip, it has spring-loaded, I would say, clip in like a feather pattern here. And it has pretty good... Um, like space in between the clip you can get and it's uh, feels very sturdy next with um, the bands on the cap it is engraved first of all the clip lines up with the Paniter logo there and there is the skyline of Florence and this really um, made me interested in the pen because I really want to visit that city and um, <laughs> hopefully I can in the future and bring this pen with me. It is um, palladium plated. Now it is a magnetic clip so um, when you close it there is like that noise. I don't know if you can hear it but very satisfying feeling of closing. And it does spin freely on the body, which might bother some, but it's fine with me. It's kind of a fidget toy. And I just really love how easy it is to close it. So there is another little ring here on the body where the magnet is housed. The grip is like chrome. It's also kind of dirty because of my use and it's tapered so that you can grip it like this. Now I don't grip my pen like that. I use these fingers which is very abnormal and it still works for me. 
With the standard grip, obviously it works well. With any kind of grip, I would say it works. And the nib has a special, um, if I can get it to focus, very nice engraving on the nib. I have the fine um, as signified by the F there. It's a number six nib, it's steel, um, but that is not to say that it is low quality by any means. And there's just a little chrome end piece there. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the nib is rhodium plated. So when you open up the pen, um, now I have mine inked up with dye mine marine right now. So it does accept um, standard international cartridges and converters. This is a Paniter, I don't know if you can see it up there, Paniter branded international converter. Um, now I purchased this from Goulet Pens, the Goulet Pen Company, and they included this converter. I don't know about other retailers. Moving on, what, what sets this pen apart from other pens, especially the previous Avatar, is the material that it is made of. Um, it is ultra resin, and that means, well, I don't know, because it has been formulated especially for Paniter. Now, most pens are resin, and they are very durable, except they are prone to heat damage um, or UV rays. This is just an upgraded resin. Um, it is a mother of pearl uh, compound and it is said to be unbreakable. That is part of their marketing. And there's like a video of them throwing it off the roof and it survives, which I don't recommend. But um, that was the selling point for me. I really loved obviously the color, um, the design of the band and everything. And I wanted a beautiful pen, but knowing that it would last me a long time is really what sold it to me. Um, so it was kind of a combination of different things, and I've never had a Paniter pen before, so I wanted to try it out. So yeah, I would say it's a pretty solid, um, no pun intended, pen. So I brought in some Tomoe River uh, 52 gram paper to give you a little bit of a writing sample. And I'm going to be sitting down for this, so excuse me if the camera work is a little off. But the thing I've noticed um, after using this pen is that the steel nib is very, very smooth. I would say it's comparable to some gold nibs. Um, so when I write, I do not post it because it seems just a little too heavy, a little too long when posted, even though it is possible it's a, quite a secure post. Um, but I just leave the cap off like this so I can look at it. It's very pretty. And I'm going to write with my grip like this, just because I'm used to that. Um, so this is the Paniter. Oops, oh my god, I, <laughs> I can't write, can I? Let's just make this something cool. Avatar. Um, in abalone grain. This is the fine nib. And I have it inked with diamine marine. Um, I find that this color matches almost perfectly to the pen. And I'm a big fan of diamine inks, as um, most people are, and I just smudged it there, so that is cool. This is going pretty well. You can get a little bit of line variation with it, though I don't really do that with my pens, or with my normal ones, especially steel nib ones, but it is an option if you're into that.
All right, that's all I have to say about the Panetta Avatar uh, for today. I hope you enjoyed this review. It was a little clunky because it was my very first video. But um, if you are into my work, I recommend you check out my uh, Instagram page. It is linked below in the description. I photograph my pens and inks and everything. And I just want to have fun with it. So yeah, thank you all for watching.